ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joseph Novichko, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Welcome to today's webinar. Of course, as usual, for a new webinar of every month, the month of April, for example, as uh, we are in right now, 19th of April, of April uh, with our new set of webinars, uh, we're going to talk about swing trading. Now, as usual, we have standard about four sessions uh, during the whole month of webinars. Um, with, uh, of course, uh, with regards to the whole connection of the webinars, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the first webinar is usually um, a, a presentation of uh, uh, what is uh, going to happen during the uh, set of webinars that we're going to talk about. Now, today's session, however, we will start with the very basics of uh, swing trading is um, uh, why have I actually picked uh, uh, this particular topic for this month? Now, uh, first of all, uh, we have a lot of uh, fundamentals uh, going out uh, each day out of uh, uh, major economies like uh, the United States, uh, the uh, European Union, uh, uh, the United Kingdom. Now it's going to be uh, only the United Kingdom because uh, they're going to be out of the European Union. So basically, we're just uh, going to take a look at that particular event as well. Um, also, uh, Japan, China, uh, major economies uh, in uh, uh, in the uh, Pacific, like the um, um, uh, Australia and New Zealand as well. However, given the fact that uh, uh, swing trading is uh, one of the most popular ways of trading as to, uh, let's say, uh, most of the traders are using a uh, swing type of trading to um, uh, you know, make money on the market. Uh, basically, uh, a lot of hedge funds and um, um, brokerages, let's put it this way, are focusing on um, a different type of trading like uh, long-term trading, long-term trend trading, which of course also involves some swing strategy. Uh, based on the fact that um, you know, when we uh, have to uh, hold position for a long period of time, of course uh, we are aware of at, uh, where the market is stopping, where it's reversing, but how exactly that is happening, uh, we need to also to look at a shorter period of time. Now, uh, today, of course, I have chosen to um, uh, look at gold prices. Now, um, uh, gold as uh, an investment, uh, it's uh, very lucrative, especially when it comes to uh, financial, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, geopolitical turmoil, also uh, uh, political uncertainty, so on and so forth. Now, uh, given the fact that um, most of the traders out there are uh, very, uh, you know, uh, reluctant of uh, a particular market case. Um, that's why I picked uh, uh, gold as an instrument today because we have a lot of interesting things to talk about. One of which, uh, of course, is uh, the case we are right now and the uh, possible double top formation that it's uh, probably going to confirm. And this is the uh, neckline here, you know, with the two uh, tops here and here. Yeah, that actually made for a very ugly uh, smiley face. So, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just going to use another uh, color so we can uh, specify the uh, conditions here, here, and the neckline. And again, it's it's a smiley face, but it's a very dull one. Anyway, um, <laughs> I can see the comments. Uh, thank you very much. But there is no other way to do it. Uh, otherwise, I could just make it a triangle. But it's still going to be, uh, you know. Uh, a type of face. But anyway, uh, the uh, neckline from where uh, we could expect some uh, downside towards uh, other support and resistance areas, uh, of course, uh, uh, is a very significant um, uh, a part of the um, uh, trend following and, of course, uh, swing trading. Now, uh, the first thing that comes to mind to any trader that it's uh, particularly attending any kind of webinar, whether it's uh, this one or any one, uh, of course, uh, you are uh, always uh, um, uh, asking yourself, okay, well, uh, we are in the present days. We're talking about past events. Uh, it's very easy to say, uh, um, you know, what have happened and what could have happened if we have done something uh, to prevent uh, a particular disaster uh, on uh, any account or, or whatever. Now, my uh, uh, point is that um, uh, what we're looking at right now is actually the most perfect case scenario in our uh, 
uh, uh, trading uh, uh, webinars. Now, um, I have specifically chosen this one. Of course, I was crawling throughout the charts today to find a case which could actually work perfect as, as, it, as this one uh, right now. Because um, when we speak about uh, uh, swing trading, uh, we, know, we, we need to know about the fundamentals of uh, trend trading and, of course, uh, when to add to a, a winning position, when to cut losses uh, from a lo uh, losing position, uh, or, of course, um, uh, where to find exactly uh, where the trend begins, where it ends, where it reverses, so on and so forth. Now, right now, what we see is a perfect case scenario for a possible, I'm saying possible, double top formation. It always happens on the top of an uptrend. Again, we have an uptrend. It's still valid. It's not yet reversed until, of course, the uh, midterm uh, uptrend line is broken. Now, we have a lot of cases where uh, early indications of trend reversal are possible. Now, uh, furthermore to that, I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Of course, uh, let's have a look at a few cases uh, before we continue. Now, the first time we saw uh, the uh, uh, market making uh, an upward move was here. Now, we had a, uh, a long run down. Market made a 50% retracement. Here's your 50%. 61.8 is always a trend reversal. Now, on this boost up here is where we actually know that the trend is on. It begins. What we saw here is a double bottom formation, much like the one that we're looking at in this case. Okay. Now, given the fact that uh, uh, this threshold here from where the market on a large volume breaks above the 61 retracement, on the Fibonacci. Now, I'm using the Fibonacci as uh, just a, um, just an example of uh, how we should be um, uh, looking at uh, swing trading, uh, what we should be uh, uh, dealing with uh, along the way. Looking at that threshold, 61.8% is one of the uh, 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 you know case scenarios from where uh, we are aware that trend begins. Now, it's very difficult. I'm saying it's very difficult to predict whether the price action will actually test one more time uh, this particular place here on the 61.8 and then of course uh, bounce back up from where of course on a zigzag is going to start climbing up. Hello guys, I'm really really sorry about the uh, problem that occurred. Um, I don't know what exactly happened but uh, during the presentation there was some kind of a glitch or probably one, one of my colleagues here that it's uh, actually recording the session um, probably pressed something that he shouldn't have. Uh, in any case, uh, we are back online, so uh, everything is going to go as scheduled. Now, first of all, I would like to kindly ask uh, each and every one of you to please accept my apologies uh, for the problem. And of course, if you are experiencing any any problems uh, uh, from now on, just uh, write to me in the chat here, and I'm going to see exactly what is happening so I can fix it right away. Uh, but um, uh, you know, when we are recording this session, sometimes uh, there is a problem sharing the view uh, between the uh, computers uh, throughout the office. So um, sometimes uh, it happens such a case. Well, you know, technology is uh, is a good thing, but sometimes it uh, fails uh, even uh, even when we are preparing for the past three hours uh, for every session as we are. In any case, uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, sticking around. Uh, we are looking back to our uh, four-hour gold chart and we are talking about swing trading, uh, how to find the beginning, the end and reversals of every trend. Um, uh, first of all, when we uh, spoke earlier, uh, when we spoke about the uh, uh, gold prices and the threshold here uh, on the uh, chart, uh, we've been talking about uh, the uh, break off here. Let me change the color right away so it can be much better with the green one. Uh, 
So uh, when we saw that threshold breaking off on the 61.8% retracement of the Fibonacci, now the Fibonacci uh, retracement levels, of course, are uh, one of the basic uh, instruments that any trader can actually use to determine, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, price uh, reversals or uh, uh, directional trends. And as you can see, the 100% retracement uh, on the uh, previous trend downturn uh, here is one of the cases when I mentioned I bought um, a significant amount uh, of gold at uh, 1258. Uh, 1258, of course, so we're looking at uh, uh, roughly 12, uh, um, 1259, 1260. Uh, but um, as, we, as we all know, it's uh, very difficult to determine where exactly is the particular uh, uh, you know, retracement or uh, whether it's going to be 1258 or 1259 or 1260. Uh, therefore, we're, we're calling it an area. Area is, uh, is a very uh, uh, good thing to know because uh, when we're looking at a breakout, say, like this one, for example, that is a fake breakout. Now, the real breakout happens here because then we have a confirmation. Now, uh, talking about uh, certainty, First of all, I do realize that everyone is saying, okay, you have seen this move, now you're uh, making a lot of things up, uh, probably everyone is skeptical about it, but uh, the, one of the things uh, to uh, uh, overcome uh, and, of course, become a, a, a profitable a professional trader is to know when the market is actually making a move. Now, you will not be wrong when you buy on this break off here. This is what we do. Uh, we have 80 to 90 percent certainty. Everything else is the market flow. Now, speaking of which, uh, one thing when a trader uh, goes long here on this 100 percent retracement, uh, let's say uh, you found out that the uh, trend is going to go, uh, you know, the market is going to go up, uh, gold prices will, of course, boost further on, uh, and of course, uh, you decide to buy when this one, this 100 uh, percent retracement is broken. One of the things, of course, uh, of uh, professional trading is uh, is to wait until the market tests again this 100% retracement. The same case scenario when we said about this one here. Of course, it didn't manage to get to the 61.8 uh, uh, on this case. I instead, actually, it made uh, a 50% uh, retracement on the previous volume here, and then it bounced from it and went up. Now, uh, we have to understand one key fundamental here. If, of course, we have bought on this candlestick and we saw that the market is going down here, we already have one position opened on the large volume here. So we are protected. We already have a running profit. Our second position comes here. Okay. Now, when, when we open a second position and we see that the market is reversing with the same force that actually broke off that 100% retracement level, we have to terminate it either on a small profit or on a small loss or on a break even. We have to get rid of it. The next time, of course, when it breaks off, then we have to wait for that little triangle here that it's called a flag. Now, this particular flag, ladies and gentlemen, is our continuation pattern. Here, however, is our position from here to here. And of course, uh, now, we're still holding positions because we don't really know whether uh, our prices would confirm below the neckline of the possible double bottom from a double top formation, or it's actually going to invalidate it and keep shooting straight up. This, of course, will also mean that we have to follow every fundamental that is going on. We have a problem in North Korea. We have, uh, you know, uh, basically, the uh, threats that uh, North Korea and the uh, United States are throwing at each other. We have Russia on the table. We have Syria on the table as well. And, of course, uh, uh, on top of this, we have political problems in the European Union, especially in France, of course, because they are actually going to hold a, uh, a new election for uh, a president, and this is going to happen this weekend. So, you see, there's a lot of volatility over there. It, there is, of course, a lot of risk, but uh, where is risk? There is a lot of profit potential. Talking about swing trading, that's one of the uh, most profitable ways of trading. And let's say, um, uh, basically, it's profitable because it's safer, okay? 
um, uh, you're looking at a midterm chart, one hour, four hour daily chart. Um, uh, you're aiming for uh, adding to your profitable positions instead of, of course, uh, entering, making a, um, the usual uh, uh, swing of uh, on a daily basis of gold is uh, seven to ten dollars. Now. Uh, Anyone can actually calculate that this is about one lot trading seven hundred to one thousand dollars in one day. However, if you are able to trade with one lot, and of course, let's measure. Let's go ahead and measure. From here, you have opened one lot trading, and you have reached this case. That's sixteen dollars. You're already sixteen hundred dollars in a profit. Of course, uh, I'm talking about this case from here same case scenario um, then of course uh, it reaches its highest point which is the 100 percent retracement you're liquidating half of your position or two-thirds this is also profitable uh, I mean uh, also um, appropriate to do you know uh, some conservative traders would uh, liquidate uh, two-thirds of the your, uh, of the positions uh, uh, some of course would just uh, cut it in half uh, take half of the profits off and of course add another one here so if you have one lot here, you take profit of the half a lot here, and then add another half a lot here, you will still have the same amount of profit when you reach this case here, but you have already booked half of your profits in. So swing trading is not liquidating your full positions. You're actually waiting for the trend to be over. And we are in this case right now. So we are not aware whether this uh, particular uh, scenario would uh, uh, validate. Let me clear the chart a little bit. Okay, uh, we're not sure whether uh, uh, the uh, double top formation here would confirm. We're not sure that from this case the market will drop, because the next step is if it confirms below the neckline. The next uh, step is twelve uh, twelve seventy six. This is the re support level. The next one is uh, 1268. This is the next support. And of course, then it's the 100, which is a support level of a higher state, which is, of course, the 1260 or the 1258. It really depends on how exactly you measure it, whether you have taken the shadow here of the uh, small candle, uh, if, you, if you follow the pointer here. Or, of course, uh, if you have uh, taken the uh, uh, closing price, I'm usually getting the closing prices, as you can see here as well. This is a, a little bit more accurate type of reading, and, and we can see that it's uh, 1259, uh, something like 50, okay? Uh, 1259.50, or 1259, or 1260. It really doesn't matter. Uh, we're talking about swing trading. Now, we have to be ready to hold these positions for a longer amount of time. Talking about holding these positions, that means uh, five to ten percent risk on your uh, balance uh, or the whole equity. If you have uh, various of uh, bonuses or uh, anything that it's uh, uh, over there added to your uh, balance, of course that makes an equity. Uh, therefore, in this case scenario here, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a ready mode to whether liquidate all positions or let it flow until its end. However, talking about uh, liquidating positions. Now, the first step of taking profits is a gradual taking profit because uh, imagine now if you have a position from 1244 or something like this, okay, uh, it's uh, what's the price I'm looking at here is 1244 let's say 1245 okay you have a position here you have another position here then you have another position here or here okay so let's say let's say you have it on every place here then it's one two three four lots or if you have added another one here but it's uh, not necessary anyways you have four lots well, in four lots with ten dollars, that's four thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a profit that you cannot afford to lose. Therefore, if the neckline uh, uh, here confirms, the next step is to close your first lot, which is this one. If it confirms this one, 
goes off. When it comes down and it breaks this resistance, the next one comes off because you still have a profit from here to here, okay? This is your profit. Okay, that's um, roughly 12 to $13, maybe even higher. Why would you lose that profit? Gradual profit taking is the best course of action for a very simple reason, because these positions here, ladies and gentlemen, are your supportive positions. You do not liquidate them unless the price has broken below the 100 level. And basically because it's a major support level, we do not touch those positions. So you still have roughly, let's measure, um, roughly around, sorry about that, $16, that's uh, two lots uh, of uh, every every lot on uh, $1,600 uh, that is giving you about three, uh, $3,200 or $3,200. Now, these uh, $3,200, $3, ladies and gentlemen, is your uh, a profit that you should always book if the price breaks below. For a very simple reason, if the price breaks below the 1260 uh, or 1258 to the 100 percent retracement on the last downtrend, then that means that uh, um, from here on, the, the, uh, uh, the way towards 1236 is very short, is very short, it's going to drop so quickly that you can actually uh, erase your profits and even go to a loss in, in a matter of uh, uh, minutes, you see. Gold is extremely volatile, that's why I chose it because it's very profitable, it's very volatile, you can trade it every day, and you can uh, uh, make multiple positions every day, and of course you can hold them for a long run of uh, period of time, especially when it's considered a safe haven. Talking about North Korea, talking about US, Syria, uh, Russia, so on and on, you can see four different countries involved in one and the same uh, particular type of conflict, you know, uh, uh, U.S. is fighting ISIS, uh, 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 shooting missiles uh, towards Syria, uh, threats uh, from North Korea towards the U.S. and, and back forward. Uh, uh, the Russians are supporting the uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, uh, regime in Syria. So you see four countries that are connected and they're making uh, a gold price going up. And the level of 1282 is where our neckline stands, over here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a key level from where we could actually see a move with another $18 down. Uh, sorry, uh, my, my bad, my apologies, uh, $12 down. $12, there we go, $12 comes straight over here, you see, at the $12.70, but it doesn't end there. It can actually continue down here. This is just the first stop from where it's gonna go if it breaks that neckline. Now, speaking about the neckline, uh, uh, swing trading, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, uh, is very profitable, of course, it's uh, also very risky because uh, once this neckline is broken, you can very easily lose your running profit. So right now, you have to be extremely cautious. Uh, that's why, uh, uh, you know, I, I chose particularly uh, gold because uh, uh, we've been talking about um, uh, past case scenarios, uh, something that uh, uh, people don't really believe. But there you go, it, it's in front of you. You always have to know where to stop. You cannot let your trades go uh, and not notice that there is a double top formation here. And of course, the neckline is here. And if it breaks below, you have to consider your profits. This is swing trading because, now, this is the, the uh, other chapter. Because these two positions, uh, let me just point them one more time. Because these two positions here are alive, they're giving you security by uh, supporting your balance. Your money is, in, is on the move. They're being traded, okay? You're not sitting ducks by, uh, by leaving your money in the center of your balance, uh, 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 lurking around for another profitable trade. You already have that profitable trade until, of course, proven otherwise. Proven otherwise, one more time, the 100% retracement. So this, the way you see the chart, you have to always be there. It has to always be there, be there, unless, of course, there is another case scenario. There is a, a few months' time from now when you have the same case scenario and you have to draw another Fibonacci retracement. And then, of course, this one, this Fibonacci, will stay in the past. 
it will not be here probably because uh, uh, the price have changed so much for example that uh, uh, the only thing that you see is up here 1300 1200 okay so when the future comes and the price falls back towards here these levels will still be active they will still be there as a resistance or a support level so it has to be always be there it has to be there this is swing trading you're not uh, uh, you know, um, you're not a uh, uh, you're not a scalper. You're not uh, 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 let's say um, uh, a day trader that have to cut their positions every every day, no matter what. Okay, this is swing trading. You have to call, hold your positions for as long as possible until the trend is alive, and it's still alive. Of course, how to determine this? You have uh, various of, uh, of ways of doing it. Uh, the next time we're going to be talking about the uh, moving average convergence divergence. It's a very useful tool, the MACD. Uh, also, we're going to be talking about the few moving averages, very important, how to set them up. And of course, we're not going to make our charts complicated. The simplest way is to look at the price action. Now, the only way that I'm trading is using very few tools like uh, the MACD, let's say the ADX, uh, the uh, uh, SAR uh, uh, parabolic, uh, for example, you know, if you're moving averages, that's it, nothing else. I don't need anything else. I don't need any, any paid, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, tools like uh, customized uh, uh, oscillators or uh, indicators of any kind of type. I don't need that. Anything that you can use from the MetaTrader 4 is enough for you as long of course if you tune it right okay the, the right periods the right uh, uh, levels uh, all of this we're going to talk about gradually until the end of the month right now what you need to focus on is to find other currency pairs or commodities or indices any kind of trading instrument that you have pretty much the same case scenario where you're in a trend to find the support and resistance levels okay it's very easy to do that uh, you always have to take a place where the price have pro uh, problems of overtaking okay 1248 take a look at it you can see here it's been a problem for the price here it's been a problem for the price here 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 and then this one then this one this one this one and this one all of this is in front of you you don't have anything to worry about and you don't have to use any kind of complicated things don't do that the most simplest way makes you the more money okay now you're going to ask the question why have i made so many webinars for scalpers uh, binary option traders whatever you can think about we have you know hundreds maybe even thousands of webinars so far for the past three years well the uh, uh, simple re uh, answer is because there are different type of traders like for you guys for example that you're here with me today you're mostly interested in swing trading because it's very calm, uh, it's easier, uh, uh, the profits are not gigantic, but they're constant, they're flowing in, okay? You don't have to sit in front of your computer throughout the whole day. You only need a few, uh, you know, a few minutes or uh, when you, uh, uh, you know, get the experience you need and or just in the beginning an hour or so you know to make your technical analysis to see the trend where it ends where the stop losses where it take profits where of course are the uh, support and resistance levels those things are very easy to, to make uh, you know to find out you, you don't need uh, longer than an hour to do so and you're going to have a very profitable system to do uh, to uh, incorporate in your trading plan but of course furthermore to that you we always have to use a few other tools to help us determine better what the market is up to. What exactly I'm talking about, we will find out, of course, in our next session. And of course, please remember, all of the webinars are connected. We will find out at, uh, at the last webinar, where, of course, we will uh, find out what is exactly the whole plan and the whole idea with this swing trading. Now, what I've talked about today is just the, the general uh, way of, uh, 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 um, swing trading by uh, you know uh, by any professional trader they don't use anything they just need the chart they only need a trend line to find which is the short-term trend uh, to find where is the mid-term trend 
and of course to find where is the long-term trend there you go you don't need anything else of course these particular ways you can um, um, you know this is uh, the so-called Fibonacci fan you always have uh, this particular tool you can find it uh, let me see if it's in customized I'm not particularly I don't think uh, just hold on a second um, I think it was uh, somewhere around here I just have to find where it was to be honest with you I don't really use it uh, but of course uh, you can um, you can use that of course that's uh, no problem I think it was here somewhere uh, Fibonacci fan I think it's gonna take me quite a bit of time to find it <laughs> but in any case uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, that a trader needs only few moving averages just about a few tools uh, also Fibonacci retracement the normal horizontal levels of course uh, uh, you can also um, uh, use uh, here we go I think it's uh, it, was, no, it's, it was this one but we have to use the um, so-called what was it I really can't find it that's uh, ridiculous I'm probably getting a lot of laughs on the other side but uh, the fact that I'm not finding it is basically because I'm not using it uh, but of course uh, you can always uh, find it on your own uh, it's uh, somewhere around here anyway so I'm not gonna look for it uh, I'm gonna talk about it anyways in uh, my next uh, particular webinar on Friday so uh, leaving the case as it is uh, what we are having in this uh, moment is uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know um, uh, space to uh, go for yeah thank you of course it's an insert <laughs> thank you mr patel it was uh, a pleasure of course uh, thank you for helping me for this but uh, in any case you can see guys uh, when you're using this uh, you always know where, where to find it uh, but of course i don't need to uh, you know over complicate uh, my particular charts i don't need anything uh, else than a few uh, uh, trend lines moving averages and so on and so forth uh, but of course uh, if you want to use the Fibonacci fan is also a very useful tool uh, but of course if you have it has always uh, too many lines uh, so which you don't really need in the long term um, so that's about uh, the uh, general way of swing trading we're going to be talking about a lot of other things there uh, uh, and you will see how interesting it's going to get when we uh, start uh, putting uh, additional indicators the next time of course we're going to be talking about the um, uh, 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 the moving average convergence divergence uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, important uh, topics to discuss and of course I'm going to leave uh, the door open for some uh, question and answering session at the end and right now thank you very much for joining me today and of course I'm going to see you again on Friday if you have any questions you know how to find us just drop us an email at webinar at gdmfx.com or just go on our website gdmfx.com and we have a pop-up chat on the bottom right corner where my colleagues will be very kind and very quick to answer any question you might have and of course if it's uh, not in their own competence of course we will uh, be uh, they will be of course uh, in the position to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with me or any other my colleague to help you with whatever case scenario you have thank you very much for joining me I'm going to see you again on Friday thanks a lot see you then bye-bye <music>